Alrighty, well, good afternoon, everybody. Well, earlier this morning, <clears throat> I, uh, I watched a soft white underbelly video. Um, not all of it, but, like, maybe, like, the first 10, 15 minutes of it about a male porn star. Um, he got to a part where, despite the fact that I, he, I can't remember the exact number of, of scenes he did, but he's, he's done a boatload of scenes. He's, um, he does both straight porn and gay porn, so he hooks up with both women and men. Um, yeah, at some point later on, he said, uh, he said he suffers from agoraphobia. I didn't know what that is, but he said, like, uh, like, when he's not doing porn, he's basically a caveman, or he basically, uh, he doesn't go out, which is pretty much sounds my life, pretty much sounds like my life, so, you know, work, you know, eat, sleep, work, that kind of thing. So, um, after that, after seeing, or after getting to that part in the video, I looked it up, and, I mean, I've also heard the name, you know, here, let me back up a bit, um, before I continue on, it just, it, this is just gonna go so much better with some music in the background, um, I, I think it probably suits the mood from what I'm about to do, um, I play this in other videos too, so it's the Angling Loser Arena of Apprehension. So, anyway, um, he, uh, but basically, he lives a eat, sleep, work existence, just like me. So, and this this is a porn star saying this, so I found it kind of interesting. Um, wait, I think my media player froze up. No, it's gone. It's gone. Okay, I didn't hear any music for a while. But um, I uh, and I've also heard that I've also heard the term thrown around, agoraphobia. I but I didn't never never thought to actually look it up. Or I probably had it in the back of my mind. I gotta look. I gotta look at what agoraphobia is, but I never get around to it for some reason. Um, but when I did, it it's almost like something that I have. It's just you know you go through a whole lot of bad shit in your life. Um, the vast majority of it involving other people. So yeah, I tend to I tend to try to avoid getting in uh, bad situations. You know, or basically I don't want to have to deal with the same shit again. So it's one of the reasons why I I tend to be very skittish around doing family functions and stuff like that. I'll uh, I'll probably talk more about it. Um, for those that have never seen my content before, some of my content involves stuff like this, like doing quizzes. Um, I did a schizophrenia. I've done a I think I recorded a few uh, schizophrenia videos. Be taking a quizzes and tests on that. Um, I did one or two for ADHD as well. But I thought I'd go ahead and do one for agoraphobia as well. Um, and, and as far as why the recovery village, it was just the first thing that came up on the Google search. So, so I just decided to go with it. Um, oh, and um, to back up a little bit, I've also done um, I've done political compass type tests. I've got a few videos of those too. Oh, so I gotta deal with this shit. Like, you can't, um... The moment you scroll down... I've seen other websites do this. The moment you scroll down, it, it pops up a whole bunch of... What I consider are basically... Pop, what, are, what are basically pop-up ads. Like, you can't get rid of them. Something in me tells me that this is actually going to be a super, super short test. Um, intense anxiety while using. Oh, and yeah, and there's no uh, this is just true false. It's not multiple choice. Um, in this context. No. But I'm in a... Yeah, this... I probably should have done a little bit of research on this. Because there's probably going to be some gray area answers. Like, if I'm in a public, you know, the eyes aren't on me. You know, nobody in, nobody in the area knows me. Like, I'm surrounded by strangers. In this context, no. 
but again, if I'm like around my family, um, to a lesser extent, my coworkers, you know, people that actually know me, being around a bunch of people that know me, um, then yeah, but as written, public transportation, stuff like that, no. The short answer, yes, but that uh, that anxiety these days, because uh, they're doing highway construction right by where I live, and they've, uh, especially now, they've cut off this major intersection that leads to a lot of stores and shops and whatnot that most people around my neck of the woods go to, because that, for, for lack of a better word, artery, because that artery has been blocked off, um, more cars, more people are now being forced to take scenic routes, just like me. So, we're all practical, for all intents and purposes, we're all being crammed in like sardines now. This is driving me up a fucking wall right here. Um, and I gotta turn this down. It's a bit on the loud side. So, right now, So right now, yeah, it does. Because, again, there's a whole, whole bunch of other people out now. Because we're all forced to take this one single route to, say, Walmart. So now we're all, you know, traffic slower, that kind of thing. Even uh, even in, even during the mornings, when when it used to, be sim used to be a simple matter for me to go from point A to point B because there's hardly anybody around, that's a problem, too. Because, again, everybody's now being crammed into this one... You know, this one, one and only accessible road. So yeah, that's, you're getting some real falling down vibes if you've ever seen that movie. But I'll probably say in the black and white, yeah, I don't like going out. It's one of, also one of the reasons why I got a night job. There's not many people out at that time. So I'm going to go ahead and say yes. Yes, yes. This is a hardcore yes right here. Like I said, I'm I'm real skittish around being in a family events and stuff. I wish I could get rid of this top part. But again, I after reading the rest of this, there is gray area involved. Again, elevators, crowded trains like actual public places where everybody around me is a stranger? No. But, I mean, again, if, if uh, I'm around people that know me, then, yeah, that I want to get the fuck out of there. So, I'll just go ahead and say yes. Um, I'm hardly ever off. Uh, I'd probably say the same thing here. So, I could probably make a whole entire video just to answer this question. But So, the short answer, I'll just go ahead and say yes. Now that I think about it, this would actually be the flip side. Um, people that know me know I'm already a pretty uh, a pretty fucked up in the head person. So I mean schizophrenia, ADHD, that kind of thing. But my my family are my family they may not they may not have the same words for it that I would. But they, they already know the kind of person I am. It's not as embarrassing. Not as embarrassing around my uh, around my family. Oh, you know, they wouldn't be surprised a bit. But in a public place with people that don't know me, yeah, they're automatically just gonna say, "This guy's a fucking weirdo, man." 
Uh, put the kids, kids, get the kids in the car. Come on, we gotta go. Yeah, he's really scaring me. Uh, uh, I got a billion. He's gonna pull out a newsie and kill everybody in here. Let's go, guys. You know that kind of thing. So, so yeah, I worry about this. So, but again, I guess the short answer would be yes. Oh yeah. Checking OBS. Um, yeah. Um, I pretty much uh, centered my life around it. Uh, I. This is a hard one to answer. I'm not a pet person. I'm a loner. I'm a loner. Uh, I'm a bachelor. So. I'm. I'm gonna go ahead and say yes. Yeah. It, I mean, again, I live alone, so it's tough to. Tough to answer this one. There, I kind of get the spirit of it. I guess. I can't leave unless I'm mentally prepared. I guess no way of looking at it. Oh yeah, since childhood. Fewer of these, I mean, fewer of these days, but that's also because I live by myself in an apartment and I work a night job that's only like a quarter mile away from where I live, so. Despite me uh, sometimes complaining about my job and, you know, the fact that I, these days, I live hand to mouth, I, I haven't made it in the shade otherwise. So, despite, despite the burnout, uh, burnout, age, injuries, that kind of thing, despite all that, I still have it good. So, I have, I have fewer panic attacks these days because it kind of feels like the agoraphobia is starting to, it's starting to come together. So, most of my life now is just, is just a result from these. Had a lot of these as a kid, so I don't want to go into, like, long, long detail. I mean, I'm just trying to take a quiz here. So. Oh, yeah. Easy answer on that one. Um... And once again, this is a uh, gray area. Being in public, being in public doesn't bother me. Being around people that know me does. But, uh, I've never actually, uh, in the black, the, the black and white answer, no, but I've tried to cancel them. Or, uh, basically, I don't want to be there, so, giving you the short answer, yes. So, I guess, as an alternative to canceled, just flat out not wanted to be there. So. Um, hyperventilated? I guess it, <laughs> that no. Um. Uh, no, but I kind of, especially these days. I kind of worry about all the bullshit I have to deal with, like the traffic and all that. Um, these days, yeah. But otherwise, the only time I really leave the home, aside from going to work, is grocery shopping. So. But I kind of get the spirit of this. It's like I gotta mentally prepare for going out there. Um, nope. Okay.
because once again, if I'm around strangers, it doesn't really bother me that much. The eyes aren't on me. I shouldn't have to do this. Um, uh, I shouldn't have to do this. I should just... Here, let me do this. I shouldn't have to do this. It should just give me the damn results. likely okay alrighty so I guess um if I can remember to on my uh, twitch bio along with uh schizophrenia and ADHD I guess I want to add it but I don't I don't want to lead the reader into thinking that I just I just went on the darkest dungeon wiki and looked up all the uh all the look up the uh, flaws page and I just Kind of like pick my pick my mental illnesses a la carte or anything, or just I picked the ones that I thought sounded cool, you know that kind of thing. So I'm kind of I want in I want to add it to my bio, but I already have two uh, mental illnesses on there. Adding a third, it I don't want to lead, mislead the reader into thinking that I'm trying to hype myself up or something, which is which. I mean, to me, it's kind of fucking stupid to think that. I mean, if I wanted to hype myself up, I would have just. I would have said, I have a 12-inch cock, and I'm a porn star, and maybe to really embellish myself, um, I'll, I'm, also a, I'm also a lawyer who moonlights as a porn star, or something like that, you know? I mean, I wouldn't be hyping myself up by giving myself mental illnesses. I mean, mental illnesses tend to cause people to avoid you, not attract, not attract them, so. But the rest of these, I likely to be developing... Like I said, kind of the, sh the short answer, now that I think about it, I've always had it. Again, I've gone through a lot of bad shit in my life. Things that I don't want to go through again. So, agoraphobia is the result of that. Well, I'm kind of doing that already. And for what it's worth, I, this is totally, this is totally, uh, this is an impromptu quiz. It's an impromptu video. So, I'm, so I'm kind of, kind of educating myself as well. Okay. Wait, what was that? No. But uh, I think it also needs to be said, though, too, it's not all, it's, it's not always a first option, either. I mean, lots of people out there abuse drugs and alcohol just because they have no options available, or they have no better options available. But otherwise, um, I, that's that's gonna do it. I just want to do this. Uh, just want to do this quiz. So, yeah, let's. I crazy as it might sound, I like what I see. So, but yeah. Um, but thanks for watching, everybody. I appreciate that, and I'll see you all next time. Bye for now.